hello, it's Sarah. And I have a kind of a mishmash here, but mostly crocheting, I think. Um, I altered a couple jars. I wasn't really going to share those, but they're here. <laughs> um, and thrift stores, just a little bit. I had these ball jars. These were just stuff that I've had forever um, from when I painted and from when people have given us stuff with fruit in it or jelly or jam or something. I cleaned them out. Um, and so I went and grabbed them because I was going, I was seeing a lot of Alter Jar videos. Um, Bonnie is the one who inspired me to look in thrift stores for jars. Um, Sassy Scrapper. And I found this one first. I think it was around $3. <clears throat> Probably not even. I mean, I, I don't usually buy anything more than, definitely not more than 5 But I've been crocheting, um flowers I start I really started crocheting again because I wanted to crochet flowers um, so I was using this little yarn I have it somewhere a little oh I don't know where I put it I cleaned my desk and that means everything's where it's supposed to be <laughs> um, but but so I've made a few different kinds of flowers these were the last ones I um, started doing these ones with little buttons in them and I think they're super cute I haven't used them on any projects yet but I love the idea of storing them in a jar. So this is just like an old, I don't know, canister set, I guess it was. And this actually I got by itself. And this is probably an octagon, oct octagon shape. <clears throat> um, but they all, it's funny because then I got these two yesterday on the way home from the, my haircut. But they just have these, they don't even have like a rubberized ramen on there or anything so it just sets on top so I think I'll alter that but Bonnie was the one she was finding these covered jars like cookie jars and all types of big jars and stuff um so I thought well I'm gonna look and so I got these two for like four dollars yesterday and I think these are these are both square so they're from the same set but I thought that's perfect these are my um what's left of my uh wild or orchid craft flowers so I got to get more of them I definitely I think I might have to go up and um, place an order today um, but they're just good for I mean you can see what you have and all that so these are the other these are the jars that I altered let me go up a little bigger my dog's freaking out Kirby can't even see this in the hole but I I glued um, e6000 this um, candle a candle holder one of those glass candle holders i'd seen that on a video and i e6000 it to the bottom of a ball jar and then i just put some some of my i did a shabby chic flower up there and some trims all around and different this is actually cut from um some lace that was off a pillow that i bought at the thrift store but i i definitely like the idea of like storing your so in here i have all my felt flowers that I've made and I love these and I haven't really actually no I use these on my um uh, needle books because I love these and I actually did I make more I have tons more I did make more but um I have all the felt cut already I just have to glue them and stuff so those are my felt flowers in that one and then I showed you that one I have some a different pattern of crocheted flowers in this one they're just different, uh, a different style. They're a bit bigger because I was crocheting doilies too. So um, I was trying to, anyway, come up with like, this is a kind of a small flower um, to come up with. Uh, so this is just, again, I just put some of those shabby chic flowers that I had made. I want to try making some more of them and just some trims. And this is, again, cut off of like a pillow or something. So this is thrift or thrift thrift store stuff that I was kind of recycling so pretty proud of myself for that and then this little one I have a couple of little butterflies crocheted butterflies in there and again this is a rolled rose that I tried and it didn't turn out too bad a shabby flower and then I think I got this at um tresors I think I got that trim at tresors so those are my little altered jars and then I guess these are the little doilies that I was making and I thought I could package these up because if I ever do racks or, you know, if I ever start to do trades again or swaps, 
Um, I could package them up. So this is like a little bit of a doily. I love these. These turned out pretty good. I did the pink and white. And then I did a couple green because I thought maybe you could use that as a background and then put flowers on top to make, and then that would be your greenery in the, in the, you know, vignette. I always say vignette and I got to look it up because I don't know what it means, but I have a tan, a green, and then these are like the littler doilies that I made. I think they turned out pretty cool. It's hard to find the real thin, thready kind of, that's not too thready, that's kind of like soft and stuff. So those are my little doilies, so I'll keep them in a jar probably. Maybe I'll have to keep them in a jar. And then this is my latest little thing that I've been doing, crocheting. Um, I found a young lady, I think her name is Claudia. No, maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I have to look in my notebook, of course. Um, because she makes bags like that's all she hand she made she crochets handbags so this is um i'll find it crystal crystal yeah her name's crystal um c styles styles bag a day crochet that's her on youtube and she has a facebook page too but um i mean i was learning how to make granny squares just everything like normal easy to crochet stuff so these are actually bags that she makes out of two granny squares so you start out with um you know you make the you crochet the flower and she put the green behind the flower and then she just double crochets around that and you have two granny squares that's what you start out with and then she connects the bag with the pink and then she adds a little scallop edge around the edge and at the top you just double crochet the top and add these little drawstrings. So I thought, again, super cute idea for like racks and stuff. If you wanted to send goodies, you could put it in one of your handmade bags. Because I know a lot of people are doing the um, burlap bags and even fabric bags. I've seen um, a couple racks where people have kind of made their own fabric drawstring bags. So I just thought this would be the cutest idea for, um, it, was, it was pretty basically easy. I did a purple. I did a pink, a light pink, because I had this. This is like a little bit of a thinner cotton. This is from Hobby Lobby, actually. I don't know if it's cotton, but it had sparkle in it. So a light pink. I did a yellow, which I love. Love the yellow. And this is like a little bit more of a harder uh, yarn. Like I'm finding like different yarns. The yarn is not all the same. Then I figured, then I stopped doing the flowers. Or wait, I did a little flower. I tried to go down in size. Look, I'll show you the difference. This one is the original size and then this is like the littler one. But this is a little bit of a pain in the butt because it's so small. The yarn is so thin and I did like a um, just a regular granny square on the back so I didn't have to do two flowers because these are back to back flowers. So that's a lot of work. But, um, so I did the little one, but then I did like a Halloween color one with just like a regular granny square on the front. But then I figured she also like, she'll put mustaches on the front and eyes and different things. So she's very, very good at crocheting. So I made a Halloween color one. And then I just had this like, um, uh, all different colors. So I did one with that, just like pastels. Then I just did a purple one. And then I just did this pink and brown because I love pink and brown. So I'm crocheting at the moment. I definitely like to do that like at night while I'm watching TV. Like tonight Survivor's on. So I'll be crocheting while I watch Survivor. <laughs> oh, and then she puts these little tassels. The drawstring is just like a, um, a chain. You just chain and then she puts these little tassels on the end. So I thought that was cute. So anyway. All right, you guys. That's my crochet share and we got a new computer so everything's getting on the computer but i don't know how it's going to be to get it i have windows 8 now and it's just so weird it's really weird so um but that's it for now thanks for watching